Is the screen visible? Rishikesh? Rishikesh, is the screen visible? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, fine. Okay, so we'll start this sir. second problem. So write yes, down sir. the statement of this second problem. It is stated here that a sling psychrometer. So this sling psychrometer is basically an apparatus or a device which is basically used to know the values of dry bulb temperature and the wet bulb temperature simultaneously. A small device which is used to measure both the temperatures, dry bulb temperature and the wet bulb temperature. So that's why it is stated as a sling psychrometer. So it reads 40 degrees Celsius dry bulb temperature and 28 degrees Celsius wet bulb temperature. And you are supposed to determine the specific humidity. So that is nothing but the omega. Okay, you have to find out the specific humidity that is nothing but the omega. Then you have to find out the relative humidity that is nothing but the phi. Then you have to find out the vapor density. So that is nothing but the rho V. Uh, the dew point temperature and enthalpy as H and it is mentioned here that assume the total pressure as 1.0132 bar. So total pressure is nothing but the again barometric pressure. Barometric is given as 1.0132 bar. Let us calculate these unknowns one by one to calculate the specific humidity omega. So we know the formula that is nothing but the 0 0.622 into PV minus PV. So we know the value of PV here. Barometric pressure is known to us. Yes, sir. 1.01325 bar. But the PV is not known to us. Partial pressure of the water vapor. That is not known to us. We have to calculate this PV then. Okay, this PV should be calculated. So this PV will be calculated by using the Carrier's equation. Okay, by using the carrier's equation, partial pressure of the water vapor. So that is PV equal to. So that is nothing but the PW minus this PV minus PW into. This is TD minus the TW, dry bulb temperature minus the wet bulb temperature. And this is divided by 1544 minus 1.44 into TW. Where TW is nothing but the wet bulb temperature. Okay, this TW is nothing but the wet bulb temperature. This TD is nothing but the dry bulb temperature. PW is nothing but the saturation pressure at the given wet bulb temperature. Okay, this PW. Okay, it yes, is a saturation pressure at the given wet bulb temperature. So that should be known from steam table steam again. Table. Okay, yes, so let sir. me know what is the value of PW. So find out from the steam table the PW equal to. 
Tell me what is the sir, value. Sir, for 20, 28 yes. degrees Celsius. Yes, yes. Because weight bar temperature is given as 28 degrees Celsius. 20. Yes. So you should have done here uh, from steam table. Uh, uh, 0 0.0378. 0 0.0378. Yes, sir. So that many bar. Okay, so it is yes, from sir. steam table. So all things are known to us then to find out the PV. All the data is known. So P W that is zero point zero three seven eight minus then barometric pressure. So that is given to us zero point one point zero one three two five bar. Okay, in the given data it is available. Minus the P W. So that is zero point zero three seven eight. And then into dry bulb temperature, so that is 40 degrees Celsius minus weight bulb temperature, that is 28 degrees Celsius. And divided by it is 1544 minus 1.44 into weight bulb temperature, so that is nothing but the 28 degrees Celsius. So this will give you the partial pressure of the water vapor that is in bar PV by using the carrier's equation. We have calculated the Partial pressure of water. That many bar. Find out this. Sir, 0 0.03 0, 0. 0 0.03. Yes. Okay. So that is 0 0.03 bar is the PV. Now we can calculate the omega then. PV is known to us. And PV is already given to us. Okay, so this omega equal to then 0 0.622 into PV that is 0 0.03 divided by PV that is 1.01325 minus the PV so that is 0 0.03. So find out this one. So that many kg per kg of the dry air kilogram per kilogram of dry air. That is your first answer. Zero point zero one eight nine. Zero point zero point zero one eight nine. One eight nine. Or that is also equal to eighteen point nine grams. Okay, eighteen point nineteen gram per kg of the dry. Okay, so first answer is calculated. Calculate the second. The relative humidity phi. The phi that is equal to PV divided by PS. PV that is known to you. 0 0.03 bar. And PS. So PS will be known from the steam table at 40 degrees Celsius. Okay, note down the value of PS at 40 degrees Celsius from the steam table. This again from steam table. How much is this one PS?
What is the value of P S? Sir, at uh, what temperature? Hmm. At forty uh, degrees Celsius. Sir, at forty degrees Celsius. Zero point zero seven three eight. Zero point zero seven three eight. Okay, so PV is known, PS is known. So PV that was 0 0.03. PS, so that is equal to 0 0.0738. Okay, you multiply it by 100 to get the percentage relative humidity. So phi equal to that many percentage. This is your second answer. How much percentage it is? Sir, it's 0 0.4065. Percentage. You multiply it by 100. Forty percent. Forty point? Uh, six five. 40.65 percentage. So that is your second answer, relative humidity. Then you have to calculate the vapor density rho v. What is the formula for the vapor density? What is the equation? Rho v equal to? Hmm. It is equal to omega into PV minus PV divided by RA into TD. Here this omega is the Specific humidity, 0 0.0189 into PV, barometric pressure, 1.01325 bar minus the PV, that is 0 0.03 bar we have calculated. Okay, so it should be converted into Newton per meter square. So multiply by 10 to the power of 5 divided by RA, so that is 287 joule per kg Kelvin. And dry bulb temperature for TD, that is 40 degrees Celsius. So it should be converted in Kelvin. Okay. So that means vapor density. So find out this one. That many meter cube per kg run. Find out. 0 0.020. 0 0.020. 0 0.0268. Yes. 68. Okay. So this row is calculated. Vapor density that we know. Then dew point temperature. Point number 4. So at the PV equal to 0 0.03 bar, see what is the corresponding temperature from the steam table. From the steam table, this is degree Celsius, not in bar. So this temperature should be in degree Celsius. So at this pressure, 0 0.03 bar. So see what is the corresponding saturation pressure. So that is your dew point temperature. Add the PV equal to 0 0.03 bar. Sir, it's 0. 0 0.03 bar. Uh, sir, actually the starting value is uh, 0 0.0 uh, 0 0.06. Or value very close to this one you can also use.
the pressure very close to 0 0.03 bar. So any value that is very close to this from the steam table, use that pressure. 25, uh, 25 degrees Celsius. So around 25 degrees Celsius. Dew point temperature is around 25 degrees. 25 degrees. So that is your answer for this unknown number 4. Then find out the enthalpy. In previous problem also, we calculated the enthalpy H. Okay, so that is nothing but the 1.022 times the TD plus omega into HFG DP isn't it? Plus 2.3 times the TDP So first Know this value from the steam table HFG at the dew point temperature. Let me know what is the value of HFG from the steam table at the given dew point temperature. What is this HFG? Uh, two four four two one three. Mm -hmm. Two four. Yes, sir. Four two point three. Point three. Okay, point three kilo joule per kg. Okay, so you can calculate this H now. It will be. 1.022 into driver temperature that is 40 degrees Celsius plus omega that was 0 0.0189. Isn't it the omega that we calculated was 0 0.0189? Yes. Okay, into bracket this 2442 point 3 plus 2.3 times the dew point temperature. So that is 25 degrees Celsius you have calculated. So this is the value of enthalpy in kilojoule per kg. This is your answer number Four eight eight point one two. Four eight eight point one two. Utla na re need bag na calculations use it kar. Calculation chukla. Sir, eight eight point into six. Uh, eight eight point one to six. Eighty eight point one. Eight eight point. Yes. Say uh, one one dal to one one point zero two two. Is that okay? Eighty eight point one two kilojoule per kg. So this enthalpy is also calculated. Point number five. Is that okay? Yes, sir. We'll go for one more problem then. Add down this. A mixture of dry air and water vapor is at 21 degrees Celsius under a total pressure of 736 millimeter of Hg. The dew point temperature is 15 degrees Celsius and calculate 
partial pressure of water vapor and dry air, relative humidity, and specific humidity. So this temperature is by default is nothing but the dryable temperature. Okay, when nothing is mentioned. So by default, the dryable temperature is 21 degrees Celsius. And it is the total pressure. So it means that the barometric pressure is given to us, Pb. And you are asked to calculate the partial pressure of the water vapor. So that is Pv. And partial pressure of the dry air, that is a Pa. Relative humidity, that is Pi. And specific humidity, Omega. So PB that is given to us, the barometric pressure is given at 736 millimeter of HEG. So convert this pressure in bar and tell me what is the value of this PB in bar. Okay, you make the calculations and tell me the value of this pressure, barometric pressure in bar. Convert this millimeter of HEG into bar for the barometric pressure and tell me what is its value. Sir, nine eight one nine uh, four point one seven. Bar madhi kiti. Zero point nine eight one bar. Yes, sir. Okay. Then the dew point yes. temperature is given to us as 15 degrees Celsius. So you can know the value of PV. The partial pressure of the water vapor can be known from the steam table at the given dew point temperature of 15 degrees Celsius. Okay, so at 15 degrees Celsius, see what is the corresponding saturation pressure. Okay, so from steam table. Find out this PV. How much it is? Uh, zero point zero one seven zero. Zero point zero one seven. Bar. Bar. Okay. So this PV is known to us. You can find out the PA. So that is nothing but by using the Dalton's law pressure, PB equal to PA plus PV. Okay. So PV that is 0 0.981 bar. That is equal to PA. You have to calculate plus PV 0 0.017 bar. Okay, so PA, partial pressure of the dry air will be known to us. So that many bar. Okay, so this is also your answer. This PV was also your answer to calculate the PV and PA. What is the PA? 
How much it is? Seven zero point eight three. You are around seventy one percent is the relative humidity. Can calculate the specific humidity omega. Omega that is equal to zero point six two two into PV. Divided by this PB minus PV. Find out this zero point six two two into PV. So that was zero point zero one seven PB that we have calculated as zero point nine eight one minus this PV zero point zero one seven. So that many kg per kg of the dry air. Is your answer? Zero point zero one zero nine six. Zero point zero one zero nine six nine six, or that is equal to ten point nine six gram per kg of the dry. That is your answer. Okay, initially we calculated the PV and the PA. Then we calculated the relative humidity, and at the end we calculated the specific humidity. Is it understood? Yes, yes sir. One minute, a question. Uh, Let us scroll down, Karana. So the same problems will be or similar problems will be asked there in the examination, and this problem is there for the six marks. Yes, sir. Okay. So the question. Uh, part A would be define the various psychromatic properties and part B of the same question is nothing but to calculate these psychromatic properties without using psychrometric chart or that is by using these sets of mathematical equations you have to find out the psychromatic properties. Okay, so you have to remember these psychrometric relations, the various equations used to calculate specific humidity, relative humidity, enthalpy and you should be also aware of to convert the pressure from millimeter of hg to the another unit that is nothing but the bar you should be also aware that how to note down the value of saturation pressure from the steam table then the dew point temperature at the given partial pressure of the water vapor from the steam table so all these things should be known to you this will be known provided you are having the Good practice of the numericals, sufficient practice of the numericals. 
I will give you five numericals which are based upon the calculation of the psychrometric properties. You have to solve these problems of your own independently, individually and send me the solution of that one separately. Okay, don't put your solution on the group. Okay, you individually yes. send me your solution for those five problems I will give you as a homework. Okay, sir. Is that fine up to this stage? Yes, yes sir. sir. You should continuously refer the books. You should see the videos as well. Previous assignment or any other thing which are there with you. So the continuous follow-up, continuous studies required all the time. Because if just only teaching, so that will not be sufficient. You should have your own work involved in solving the problem, in practicing the problem, in reading the definitions, remembering the equations. So this should be done by you people only. Then and then only this will be helpful. Otherwise, just teaching and engaging these lectures, so that will not be sufficient. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, then we'll stop here. I will uh, post the other five uh, problems as a homework. And today is the Sunday, isn't it? So by Tuesday, okay, by Tuesday evening, you should yes, sir. solve this problem and send your solution individually to me. Yes, sir. Huh? I will give you the two days. Monday will be given and yes. by Tuesday evening, you should complete this task. Okay, then yes. I will focus on the next topic for the discussion. Okay, then it is possible for us uh, to solve the numericals which are there for the psychrometric processes. We will discuss more psychrometric processes. Only one or two psychrometric processes so far we have discussed. That is the sensible heating mm -hmm. and sensible cooling. The other psychrometric processes that we will also discuss along with the various problems, exercises based upon the psychrometric processes. Okay? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. And we'll stop here for this today's session. Sir, the Mandar Saran Shikai contact with my year, then the physical part of Shikai, the Mandar Saran तुम्ही मला मेसेज टाका मग मी सांगतो काय आणि मलाही माहित नाही कारण की ते नाही आहे त्यामुळे चार्ज करत गेलेले ओके सर चालेल सर ओके 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 सर थँक यू थँ